getting close to Christmas time. It is getting close. We start next week, so today's the first day. All goodies out here. Well, the big empty spot over here. Y'all must have done some good this week. <clears throat> so the day before Thanksgiving, we got rid of the blue box, and uh, it found it a new home. The guy uh, had been. He's already bought one box from me. Uh, he needed another one, so now he's got two. There you go. Can't beat that. He uh, he seemed pretty excited about the deal, and uh, I was excited to see it go. So <laughs> it rode a while, huh? It rode a while. That box, I don't know, but that was one of the boxes that had the caster replacement on it. So it had already been sold once. And then we changed it out and got it back on the truck. Uh, and the second time, it just wanted to stay with us. Um, I don't know. I I did everything that I thought, you know, every time I say, well, I think I want that box. It sells. I said that like 15 times. I don't know what it was. That box didn't want to leave. <laughs> but it, it did leave. I mean, it was a great box. Nothing was wrong with it. Um, I think it was just the color? <sighs> I don't know, because that color usually sells good. Yeah, I thought uh, it looked good. I think mainly is we've sold a bunch of toolboxes in five years, uh, and our area doesn't have a whole lot of turnover. Mm -hmm. um, we have techs move from shop to shop, but we don't, we haven't had a large influx of new techs coming in. Yeah. Um, so you you we were we're kind of on that list of they either want to upgrade their box and go bigger or they want to add a cart or something like that so yeah. either way uh it sold now we've got people actually uh looking at different boxes and stuff so we'll figure out a good color and a good size box and get it put on here and get ready to sell it too so there you go well i see but, you got a two box deal going on again we do that thing uh tried its hardest to leave yesterday and it may still do it. Uh, Can't beat that 15 bucks a week, man. Yeah. That ought to sell good. So with the contest starting next week, a lot we're getting t close to that time where everybody's looking for Christmas presents, all right? Mm -hmm. What are they going to get? So I've got a few things up here. Um that we think makes good Christmas gifts, right? Yeah. So we always have probably five to 10 to 15 wives that call us, hey, my husband buys off your truck, what's a good Christmas present? Um, we normally throw out, one of the first things we throw out is the Nipix pliers. Yeah. Uh, everybody needs some of these. Um, these also sell really well to father-in-laws, mm -hmm. fathers, brothers. I mean, they sell, I mean, you. You can give these just about anybody. I think our second year in business, just about every man that uh, we have in our family got these because yeah. you know everybody needs these, right? But and everybody went nuts over the little four inch, but I like the little five inch ones better. So just we have the force of the rubber too. Grips. Yeah, we have the force too. So um, that's normally these are the ones that we show everybody. But if for some reason they say, well, they already got those, do you have, well, we do have these, you know, they can mm -hmm. have a pair. But this year I'm kind of excited because we have the limited edition Nipix with the black uh, handles. Yeah. So we have actually got some of these as well that we're saving back for Christmas presents and stuff like that. Um, so if you're looking for a Christmas present for, like I said, uh, whether you're a wife looking for your husband or you're looking for your dad, your father-in-law, whatever the case may be, brother. Um, these are some good options. Uh, and all fairly priced. I mean, right. you're talking about a good priced Christmas gift in this area here. But then we have the people that step on here that they want a little more. You know, yeah, that's great. I'll take one. But what's something else, right? We always tell them that a flashlight yeah, makes for a really a good gift. Light. And uh, we've, we've sold a whole bunch of these because mm -hmm. of the way they're small. Uh, they do have the keychain. So these make really good gifts for wives and stuff like mm -hmm. that as well. 
because I know for as long as I can remember, my mom's always had a light on her keys. Yeah. You get to the front door, you have a light to see. I know they make some of the keys with the light in it. Those usually break up fairly quick. Mm -hmm. But either way, these usually make good prizes for those. Plus, um, they're just, I mean, a handy flashlight to have. Mm -hmm. I, I have one, she has one. Um, and that's a good price present as well. So yeah. we do have that. Something people don't think about. It is kind of thinking out of the box. We do sell a bunch of these because of the price point. Yeah. But also, they're good for so many things. They can keep... It shows an extension cord here. That's great. The main thing is what it shows down below is the brake caliper. Mm -hmm. So if if you've been doing brakes and that brake caliper has slid off the uh, off the uh, strut or off the top of the rotor and smacked your hand one good time, right. you can't you can't beat these. So these make a good cheap Christmas present. You know, maybe even a dirty Santa or something like that. Mm -hmm. So good, just a good over. And if you don't have them, you need them. They also make some. I think these are the bendable ones. Uh, do what? The solid or orange. Okay, the solid's orange. Uh, I should have known that. But And then we step up to the, the really special somebody in your life, or maybe even yourself, if you're doing Christmas this year. So we have the uh, frog skin sunglasses. Sunglasses always make a good Christmas oh, present. Yeah. People think just because it's winter time, the sun don't come out. It does. So we have the frog skins. But the most popular sunglasses right now are the styles like this here. This is the BXTRs. I don't know how they pronounce that. Uh, so, but those are really popular right now. But I think the number one selling sunglasses right now. <clears throat> Let me throw those down that way. That'd, be, that'd make a good video, wouldn't it? Or the so y'all got gifts for all prices. All prices. Um, I mean, heck, you want to buy a toolbox for, well, come on, we'll do it. <laughs> <coughs> so the Sutros are the number one selling for us right now. These are actually new. They just come in last night. <coughs> they got the turquoise here. They got the uh, clear frame. They do have the prism lenses, so just an overall cool sunglasses. Make a good Christmas, birthday, any kind of gift like that. So, just a good overall. Neat. Which, these won't be able to be sold because I actually gave them to her for her birthday today. <laughs> so, today is her birthday, so she gets those. Wow. But, well, happy birthday. She'll 21 later on for saying that but that'd 21 be right. year old today that's it that's what but, that's what i tell my wife all the time i said sweetheart you're gonna change the number like her daughter is older than you are now she <laughs> says well i'm 21 with 30 years experience <laughs> <coughs> yep that's it but so yeah we got and i mean there's there's several other things that that are gift uh worthy on the tool truck knives always make real good um heck anything that you think you're uh, special one would like so mm -hmm. I mean I ain't gonna say no to any of it you wanna come on here and buy Milwaukee for them good job well I like getting tools for guys for Christmas cause like our son-in-law he does HVAC and stuff right yeah. so he needed a flaring tool for the copper and all that you know so that's what we got him now it was pricey but you know why would you not buy them something they need versus you know socks and underwear and crap right. like that that they're not gonna use it kind of sucked paying that much for that tool, but I mean, it's something he needed to make his job easier, and that's what that's what we wanted to do. So. Well, and another way to look at it, you're helping him in his oh yeah uh, job. You're helping him better himself. So and two, like you know, I'm I'm building a new shop. I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put AC in that thing. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can call on him and say, "Come over, let's try that that flaring tool there out." There you go. <laughs> Show me how that thing works. <laughs> I yeah. want to see an action. So you gotta think ahead a little bit, right? There you go, so. there you go. I guarantee you that the tool was cheaper than the labor that it would have costed from anybody else, so. I guarantee you. And y'all got plenty of Milwaukee stuff. So. We do have plenty of Milwaukee. Yeah, pick up um, some Milwaukee. I mean, we got plenty of Milwaukee, plenty of pry bars, socket sets, wrench sets, screwdrivers, pliers. I mean, we got a little bit of everything, so. I know I did a, a Christmas list 
you know, for for people on the channel. And you know, I had the some of the grip edge stuff, yep. and flashlights, and all that. And like, it's all things that even if they didn't have a tool truck, they could still access a lot of the you know stuff that was on that list because you know everybody's somebody wants a gift that sucks, right? That's it. So, you know. That's it. Yeah. And and tell you like a lot of times. You know, a woman, it'd be like me and you going to Ulta or wherever and trying to buy makeup. Like, if somebody don't tell you what to get, like, we're kind of left in the dark, right? That's so, a girl's the same way. Like, yep. man, they have a little struggle there. We don't know what color to get, you know. Or, That's it. Like, I don't even know what half the junk she used for or something. It looks like crayons and pencils <laughs> and all that. So. That's it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. What? Boy, That's Christmas is fun, isn't it? And if they got plenty of money, just pick up a roll cart, right? There you go. Hey, I'm good with that. Can't beat that. <laughs> Will y'all yeah. wrap it for free if they buy a roll cart? Uh, yeah, I'll make, yeah, I'll make that happen. <laughs> it might not look the best in the world. <laughs> just run it around it, run it over the top. There but, you uh, go. We'll get it wrapped for sure. Guess what it is. Well, that's cool. Well, let's get things going good with the Matco truck and the bust my balls will start next week. Start right? next week, yep. So that'll be be in full force. That's fine. Everybody's a winner. I've had a lot of people that, of course, they don't have a Matco truck, so they're like, what? I don't understand what the bust my balls thing is. Yeah. So it's, they purchase a hundred dollars, right? Everybody, or, every distributor's rules are different. Um, Matco really pushed it this year. So it used to be uh, just a few distributors, uh, and then this year, crap, about four months ago, they started pushing emails about. Um, the success that Bust My Balls has and stuff like that. So you're probably a lot more tool trucks. And I've noticed a lot of the distributors asking, you know, what's y'all's rules? What's the, the thing? Um, and really, a, a lot of it can be, and, and what's crazy, a lot of it can just be making an extra payment or something like that. Right. So it's some of it is if you purchase something, um, but then some of it's just making that extra payment uh, for, you know, the week that they're going to be off or whatever mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of cool that every ball's a winner so making yep. a payment that you're supposed to make anyway wins you a prize so right. can't beat that uh, there's several ways to enter uh, I've, I've saw many so um, there's some people that uh, certain ways get you two balls some ways get you three um, ours this year I have a couple different ways and then uh, every person that does do the ball uh gets entered into a grand prize drawing so wow that's um, cool that way you kind of somebody will win twice so that's awesome so we'll get to check that out next week so be something fun that's it there you go all right guys thanks for hanging out with us like always if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed click that button y'all have a great weekend